marriage is really hard. And if you've been married for more than a year, you know that marriage is really hard. And I'm not saying this to shame people who have found it necessary to get divorced. And there are circumstances where, where people have to get divorced, maybe for their physical safety is one easy example. Or situations where a marriage is annulled, which is a church declaration that, that there was no valid marriage in the first place, even though they, had, they exchanged what looked like vows. Those vows didn't take. Those vows weren't really intended. Um, so I, I don't want to shame people if you found yourself in that incredibly painful situation. Uh, but I do have to say this. God hates divorce. He hates it. The scripture is really clear about that. It's a line from scripture. He hates the pain it causes. He hates the pain that even if it uh, is a necessity, that inevitably it, it, that pain is passed on to kids. Um, and knowing that God hates divorce, knowing that I'm in a valid marriage, frankly, I, I found myself in moments in my marriage after you get past that initial uh, honeymoon phase where you're thinking, this is all going to just be a, like a bed of roses. How could it not be, right? <laughs> you find yourself in, in times in marriage where I, I literally prayed prayers I never thought I'd pray, which is, Lord, I can't do this. I can't do this, man. You've got to get me through. If God's ever answered one prayer for me, man, that's it. Every time I'm that honest with the Lord, he jumps in. He's like, I got it. I promise you the grace and the sacrament of marriage, and I'm here. It's those times where I'm so unhappy, and I realize that because of that lifelong, unbreakable bond, you know, I better get myself happy, because <laughs> running away is not one of the options. And I beg the Lord, it's in those times that I've found the greatest blessings of marriage, because it's in those times that I, I learn what actual love is even when it doesn't feel good, especially when it doesn't feel good. I learned how God is using that relationship to purify me, bring me closer to himself, bring me to my knees, let me know what grace is and how bad I need it. Um, and those are times that we often don't want to even talk about or think about within marriage. So we escape to things like pain, right? Uh, I'm so excited today to dive into the topic of marriage, marriage, especially when things aren't real fun, with a couple who's devoted their lives to helping people find grace in the midst of marriage, especially when things are messy, and to help you avoid messy <laughs> and pain, though it's not completely avoidable. Anyway, I'm so glad you guys are with us. Excited for this show. Wadi, yeah, Jackie, I'm, I, okay, I talked to these guys, what, was it, like a year ago? I, you had me come and do like a About Zoom a year conference? Ago. Yeah, yeah, you, you participated in the International Council meeting of Retrovi in Miami in yes. November. and you're about to learn what Retrovi is, but honestly, like, like the first time I talked to you on the phone, I'm like, oh, this, these people have to be on my show, because there's an, like an energy and there's a, a singular uh, focus on giving yourself to your life calling that like you guys stand out and you're you're just beautiful and I'm I'm really grateful you guys are here and I'm grateful for what you do thank you for having thank me thank you thank you the beauty of my life is really her hallelujah <laughs> and, and they were telling me before we started rolling she was your best friend's girlfriend yeah that's how we that's how we met <laughs> and are you still are you still best friends mm, no no I am not still my friend. okay <laughs> my best friend was still my, still my friend I, I had nothing to do with that but she was sad that she needed somebody to be a stronghold so there I was praise God <laughs> all right <laughs> hallelujah all right so uh Jackie and Wadi the, they're the uh the founders and directors of Retrovi Miami Retrovi is a national movement to help save marriages and the website is HelpOurMarriage.org. HelpOurMarriage.org. That's an awesome and easy to remember website. Yes, it is. Uh, before I, I dive into the story of Retrovi, what it is, what it looks like, how it can help people, how to, how to get plugged in to, to help in your marriage, it's often uh, a, someone's personal experience of pain that drives them to a ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the struggles that you guys have lived through in your marriage. Okay. You want to start? Well, to start, um, every marriage goes through four phases, which is romance, when you know each other, you get to know each other, um, you get married. Yeah. Disillusionment, when things are not going that well, right? Yeah. Um, misery, mm. and then rediscovery. So, Hopefully yeah. rediscovery, right? Say, say this again. Romance. Romance. Disillusionment, disillusionment misery, misery, and rediscovery. And rediscovery. Or, or, or awakening is that moment 
when you go back to something like you said at the beginning, the commitment. When you go back to that and say, okay, I said until that two was apart, we're unbreakable. I'm not going to go anywhere. I need to fulfill this. The promise I made it to God, I didn't make it to my wife. Mm. I really made the promise to God. So in that moment, you will find God if you don't have him. You will in the darkness. Him. And, and his grace will be there. Yes. You will, you will seek for ways to learn to communicate, to be able to understand one another. That's what Retro Bible does, and, you will get, and, 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 we, and we will get there. And you will make the decision to be happy. You're going to seek that happiness, like you, like you mm -hmm. mentioned before, you will find it. You see, sometimes people think that marriage is the path to happiness, and in reality, it's the path to holiness. Happiness is found in the way that we... And then put happiness our is a byproduct. Boom! Absolutely. Yes. As we start, as I start becoming, I mean, we two enter two separate individuals to become one. I can't remain the same person that I was before I get married and expect to come out the same way. I need to change. I need to learn how to live for my wife. And she does the same. And in that process, as we start really transforming ourselves, that's when we start finding that happiness, that true joy. See, this is, this is a radically different vision of what marriage is. It's not just this sharing in this romantic experience. It's not just your first date, uh, you know, next leveled forever. First date forever, no. Yeah. It's not first, yeah. It's conversion. Exactly. Absolutely. Which really is not, it really stinks. Absolutely. And it, I mean, it ruins your life for the better, right? But those dark moments in your own marriage, you were almost divorced a couple times. Twice. So tell, tell me about what, what happened what got you through? And this is before you knew about Retrovi. Oh, yeah. But what, what, what was your, what's your story with that? Well, we moved, we moved from Puerto Rico to Miami to run a family business, left behind friends, family, and uh, I started feeling very alone. And uh, during that period of time, finances were not great either uh, at, at the moment. With a starting family, we have a child and another one that is coming on its way. Before you know, pressure starts building up. So we didn't know how to communicate effectively. We didn't have God in the center of our relationship. That was the worst part. Not having God in our relationship, I'm feeling very alone. I started diving into drinking. And uh, that started turning into fights. And uh, before you know, also the focus started becoming into getting more material possessions. Mm. So all these frustrations start building up and the fight starts to the point that I have to leave the house on the first time. But I'm dumb like that. I, I, can't, I can't learn on the first one. I have to go through things twice. Mm. Then our finances started improving. All the focus was put into that. Mm. But then lose sight of this, what really matters, which happens a lot to people. They think, you know, sometimes you ask to, to somebody, say, so, um, so, so who are who are you? I am Doctor Such and Such. Right. We start becoming our profession, yeah. and that's not what defines us. You know, I got lost in that game. That I was a businessman. It's all escape from that third thing, right. misery. Yeah, misery. Yeah, and it's not even like one major thing. No, but, but when that relationship's not working, even if it's subtle, it leads to act like real profound misery. Exactly. Yeah, I, be I became a mom. Ways. I became a mom and a wife, and I was happy. I I think that was my mission. Yeah. I, I was very happy to become a housewife and a mom. We were working together. This is a twenty four seven relationship because yeah. we have a business. So the tension from, you know, building a business and making decisions, financial decisions for the business and then coming home and taking care of the house, the kids, the shores, all those things. When you're 24 seven and you leave, you live behind your family, your friends, your life, it becomes kind of yeah. burdensome. Yeah. So those little things that, you know, started to piling up, um, we're so very we're, we have very strong uh, personality yeah. and and characters. So I can we feel were... it. I can feel it sitting here, man. I want to hide behind your couch during one of your fights and just be like <laughs> get some popcorn. Uh -huh. like, man, these, these people. <laughs> exactly. So the we are we, we will head, yeah we will go head on uh, most so of the time. Frust frustration at home. Yeah. Frustration at work. Yeah. No God in between. No God. Yeah. That's, so, that's, so, that's, so then that's, it's like, there's no higher principle. Like, why should I even bother? The, why high, should I stay the, here? the higher principle was making more money. Yeah. That's, why, that's what I thought, that we were going to find our happiness. And in reality, it sucked me into the point that started building up so much pride mm. that the fight started becoming even worse now. 
because now we're two prideful individuals not, not having a way of our path to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got to a point that the fights were so, so, so bad. I mean, my own uh, temperament of, of mine got so bad that the second time I had to leave the house. Yeah. And, uh, and it's in that moment, like you were saying, God bless you. <clears throat> it's, it's really in the time of misery that we find the grace of God and we seek for it. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. I, I got on my knees. Pray. I started, yeah. I started asking and say, I, I know I haven't called your name mm. in forever, but I need you now. Mm. And uh, my parents divorced when I was nine. And my life was, was very painful. Mm. And I was saying, I, I can't believe that I'm, I'm going to endure now as a father, what I already suffered as a child. Mm. Now I want to put my, my children through the same misery. Mm. Please grant me the strength that it doesn't come from me, the breakup of my marriage. Mm. Grant me the strength. So not having help and tools, thank God and praise be to God for his grace that grabbed me the resiliency not to quit and continue to, to, to start making changes to be able not to, not to lose my wife. That's when I find out the decision to love. Love, like you said, love is a decision. Yeah. Love is not a feeling. People think it's a feeling. That's why I get lost. We need to make that decision, you know, every single day to strive and, and, and look. So it was a lengthy process to unity again by the grace of God. We would have given anything to have the tools that now we have and provide for others that we have found through retro life. Mm. Praise God. Praise that God. moment when we're down on our knees, like, Lord, it's so it's so humbling and humiliating in the best way possible. It's like I, I I just can't do this. I just can't do this without you, man. I need you, Lord. My faith was very strong, so I was you know holding you to anywhere, it. Yeah, no. I was holding to it. I was you know I kept going to my church. I kept my prayers. I get you know pulling him into yeah. bringing God here and kind of balance out everything that we were going through. And that's how I think. Things started to get better when we in sync, you know, mm. kids are growing, we, we bring them to CCD, we go to these little retreats, and, and we start slowly for sh but surely bringing God into our relationship. I, 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 there's some people watching right now who are in that moment of misery, right? Or who are uh, becoming disillusioned. And in, in, the, in the transitional phase between that honeymoon, the disillusionment, the misery, mm -hmm. when you realize how bad things are and you admit it to yourself, it's like that if there was a moment in my life where I really wanted to die, it, it was that moment mm -hmm. within my marriage of that facing reality. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the choice like you made, instead of running, continuing to run, to say, I'm going to sit here in the pain. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just want to beg you, if you're watching right now and you're in that moment of misery in your marriage. <laughs> Please don't quit. It, it don't quit, man, because it feels like there's no hope. Okay. It feels like I can't go on. There's so much blessing on the other side of that. Mm -hmm. It's so much better than before the misery happened. When you push through with the grace of God and find the real healing Amen. that you needed to go through, that God was brought you into this trial for. That's what that's what that's what your life's ministry is about. Uh, I love two Corinthians uh, one four that God comforts us in our affliction so that we can comfort others with the comfort right. we receive from Him. How did God turn this into ministry for you? Tell us about about Retrovi. What, what, what is it? <laughs> Best okay. kept secret in the church, Best right? Best kept secret from the Catholic <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a joke. I, I, I told you that we heard on, on, on the beginning of our program uh, that we didn't thought it was funny uh, because two times, virtue of divorce, this exists since 1977, and we didn't know that it exists. Yeah. You know, we call retrovide the University of Marriage. The two University two, it should of be, Marriage. It should be at the base of every single marriage because it focuses on communication. Mm. It's a very comprehensive program, this ministry, that have three parts. The first part starts with a weekend. I don't like to call it a retreat because on a retreat, you sit back and you are going to be receiving inspirational talks, you know, for you to, to, to raise according to the inspiration. It's not necessarily something practical. This is a workshop. You have three couples and a priest that are going to be presenting different talks, teaching the couples a new way to communicate to reach a new level of intimacy, mm. which we were talking before, Father Larry Richard says, into me see. Into me see. To be yeah, able to see the, the, the total wholeness of the person, not just the physical being or the intellectual being or the spiritual being, but also that emotional being that lies inside. Mm. So the, the, this new technique of communication that they're going to be learning and practicing through the entire weekend is going to help them to start 
a new level of intimacy. When Jackie and I did a retro eye weekend, we were married for 25 years and we dated for eight years. Oh, so wow. 33 years together when we did retro vibe. I learned more about Jackie. I wish you did it longer, like 20 years earlier. Yes, I would have given a limb. Seriously. To have, to have those tools before, don't have to put ourselves through the misery that we did for so long because we didn't have those tools. Mm. I learned more about Jackie at a weekend than in wow. 33 years before. Wow. Now, the most important thing is that that tool that we just learned, now the next six weeks, we're gonna really dive into topics that are important for marriage. So you kick off six weeks of what, small groups where people are supporting each other? The same group other? that exactly. start on, the, on, that, on that weekend, uh -huh. we're gonna get two topics. You see this tool, we're gonna dive into it. Family of origin, for example. Hmm. How, many, um, how many things are formed in, our, in, 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 in the way we think in our family of origin. Mm. Personalities, we all have base personalities. What are the traits of our personalities? Why do we react to certain ways? Mm. So, uh, intimacy and, se and, and sexuality, you know well that it's not the same. Mm. To, have, uh, to have a very satisfying sexual relationship, we need a great total intimacy. Mm. So we are able to give ourselves wholeheartedly, completely. Not just the physical being is giving oneself, once we have the two or connection of the four beings that I mentioned before, we give ourselves completely, mm. a relationship with God. So all these topics, we're gonna dive into it using these tools, and then the third part, we build community. None of us are professional, but we are our own support group. Mm. Can, you, can you sum up the, the communication secrets of Retrovi? Mm. Just give us a taste tester. It's a like, taste oh man, I need, I need more of that. <laughs> Which again, Retrovi, helpourmarriage.org. If you're in a time of crisis in your marriage, go. If you're just seeing that, you know, if you pass that romance phase, if you're still in that, you know what, enjoy your bliss for a while. Nothing will ever go wrong. No, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're starting to wake right. up to the fact that this could be tough, right. you need a little fine tuning, you don't have to be in time of crisis. Go before the crisis. Absolutely. Help our marriage. Dot org. Uh, so yeah, give us a give us a taste tester. What's the a taste of that? Well, what, what we teach is a, a communication technique based on feelings, and it's mm. it, feelings is something that you don't explore as as in a relationship as as no. humans as, as people. So we tend to say, for example, I'm tired, but how mm. tired can you be? I can be tired just like want to sit down and sip a cup of coffee. Yep. Or I can be tired that I need to sleep for eight hours or 10 hours, 12 hours because I, I was beating at work or, or I walked 10 miles. So we tend to go to the feelings, to the root of the feelings so, that for, so, your, um, so your husband or your wife can understand mm. you at that level. Feelings are ne never wrong or right, so they're yours and you own them. So and the goal of a fight is not to be right, but to understand to each understand other. each other exactly Honestly. to make right. that fine line where you know you can feel that way. That doesn't make it's right or wrong. It's it's the way you feel. And, and sometimes we're we're so used to communicate thoughts and judgment as feelings, as feelings that it makes everything you know convoluted. You know, I feel like you don't love me anymore. No, you think. You cannot feel that. You you, you if it if in one sentence you can change the world feelings for think, think, and it still makes sense, wow. you're expressing a thought or judgment. Now, if you change, for, ex for, for example, I feel blessed to be here right now. If I change and I say, I, I, I think blessed, it doesn't make sense, right? Yep. So I just express an emotion. Now, if I, if I, if I, if I say, I, I, I feel you don't love me anymore, I think you don't love me anymore, sense. makes sense. That's a judgment. Wow. It's not a feeling or an emotion. It's little, little things, to know that difference. little things like that starts helping us to be able to understand each other better. Other things that we, that we learn through, through the process and straight up in, into the weekend, we mentioned one already. Love is a decision, it's not a feeling. Make that distinction is very important. Now, there are certain decisions that we need to make on a daily basis. One of them is love, but the other one is forgiveness. We need to make the decision to forgive one another, and we have to make it frequently. Jackie has to make it every day. St. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, no. Yes. And, yeah. another, and another decision that we have to make every single day is to trust. To trust, yes. So 
to get to that point, to make that decision to trust, trust is something that needs to be earned. So we have to grow in intimacy to be able to get to that, mm. right? That's why when the couple comes in that disillusionment state to make those decisions, it's a lot easier. They dive into the work that we're giving because there's a lot of work. You know, we work to build, to build a strong marriage. Sometimes I look back of how close we were and I look at where we are at now. Mm. And I burst down in tears because mm. we're so close, Praise so God. close to break, you know. But being able to make those decisions that help us to build something that is of worth, mm. not only for us, but everybody around us. You know, that as I hear the clarity with what you're talking, I mean, there's, and, and it, simple is not simplistic and simple is not easy. Simple is really hard, mm -hmm. right? It is. Uh, but the simple in this approach cuts through all the, all the noise and the, the whirling. People, when people come and, and, and they're in a time of misery, mm -hmm. it's like, I just can't make sense of it. And the devil who divides operates in that space. Right. Yep. And when something comes from the Holy Spirit, it's like it cuts through like a little beam of light. Like, shh, no, learn how to talk about your feelings instead of just trying to be right. Mm -hmm. Le learn what those feelings are. Because you could be thinking and feeling like this person doesn't love me anymore. And then operating out of that in like a million ways. And, there's, and you think all the problems is a million ways. It's, no, it's a core thing. What's the thing? Uh, that those, those decisions to forgive. Oh, it's absolutely. Like, of course, of course. When when a guy's starting to drink to numb his pain, you, you have something to forgive. Mm -hmm. you know, the decision to trust, like those, are really simple things. And how they, about conflict, they work miracles? Conflict management. That's that's part. That's a part that is super important. You know, we have out of the out of the twelve post sessions divided on those six days, one whole day, two sessions is dedicated to conflict management, mm -hmm. but it's not at the beginning. It's almost towards the end. Why? Because we need to build the intimacy first to learn to communicate in a safe place first to be able then to tackle those conflict in an effective way. Looking at our conflict at, 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 at points of view that we have difference from a learning perspective takes practice. It takes tools. It's not natural. Nobody taught us how to do that. That's why I call it the University of Marriage. I wish I would have those tools before. That's why we're so committed to go wherever we're invited to talk about red right, we do it. Why? Because it's needed. Mm. Once we understand each other and with the grace of God flowing through us, everything else becomes completely different. It's something that not only impact you, impact, impact every, everything else. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a testimony. Can Honestly, you, I was about to ask you for that because you guys, you guys are driven by results. Like you, you're, there's a fire in both your eyes for this stuff you're talking about. And uh, I mean, you're, and your full time job is that you have 18 stores. Mm -hmm. It's called what? Florida Baby Center. Florida Baby Food if Center. In, yeah. If you're in Florida, go to Florida Baby Center. <laughs> right? uh, this, is, you, this is not like, hey, I need a side hustle. No, I mean, like, this is like, this is your all consuming side thing that you're just pouring into because uh, you're seeing it change lives. So, yeah, yeah. Tell, us a, tell us one of those stories. I'm going to tell, tell one, it's a personal story. <clears throat> when our oldest son, was gonna get married, got married seven years ago. Now we have two beautiful uh, daughters, we have two beautiful granddaughters. But when he came and told us that he was gonna get, uh, he wanted to get married, um, I gave him the whole speech, that it's for a lifetime, that it's unbreakable. That when you get in front, when you get in front of the altar, you're gonna say, I, uh, in this case, Chris, love you, Erica, like I said, well, I Wally, love you, Jackie, and I'll be faithful to you all the days of my life for health and sickness, for richer, for poor, for better or worse. I'm not even saying as long as I'm happy. <laughs> I'm not even saying as, not in there, is as, it? Long, as long as you're, <laughs> I didn't even say as long as you're faithful to me. The oh. promise that I'm making, what I'm sealing is with God, it's not even with her. Mm. So you need to understand that this is a eternal life decision that you guys are making. Boom. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to do this before you get married. I want you to look for a couple that's been married for 20 years or more, not even a day less than 20 years. And to have that relationship that you want to have 20, 30, 40 years into the future. Mm. Get close to them and ask them, because how do you have that relationship? Only somebody that have what you want can tell you how to get it. Amen. So you go to that couple. I guarantee you're going to say that God is at the center. But yep. don't take my word for it. Go and ask them. And, and, and then he, he went like, and I went like very serious, like, what are you laughing about? Mm -hmm. And he looked at, 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 at his now wife 
and she smiled too, like, what's the joke? And, and he said, Dad, I, I don't mean no disrespect. Is we already did that. Hmm. And I said, really? And he said, it's you. Huh. We want what you have. Praise God. You have to remember, this is my oldest son. Hmm. He's, he's the seen one, it all, bro. He's the one that's seen the worst. <laughs> oh, but he, uh, he's the one that over, he's yeah. the one that I've also seen the awakening stage. Yes. That we have worked hard to yeah. build a marriage now that is enticing that others want to have it, started with our own kids. Our youngest son is getting married this year in December. And, it, and it, it, his fiance is the daughter of the uh, One secretary of the couple. couples, the board of directors of Retrovite. They live seven houses from us and we met in Retrovite. We didn't meet in our community. He proposed to her after Mass, in Our Lady of Guadalupe on his knees, asking for the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Mm. They are seeking what they are seeing. So that's the impact that, that we have, and that's the impact of what Retrovite has done in our lives. What a, what a beautiful message of hope, because a lot of times as parents, we think we're messing things up because of our imperfections. Right. But when they see us just grappling and struggling and tripping over the finish line, mm -hmm. that's all part of the message. That's all, it's all part of the way God's speaking through the marriage to these people. But well, we see miracles every weekend. We have had 20-something weekends already in Miami, and we're one of the youngest community. Wow. And every weekend we see a miracle. No, right. Every Sunday Almost. you see a miracle. See people put in effort in whatever they have gone through or they have destroyed or they think they have destroyed, mm -hmm. and, and they can build it up, build it up again. The other step is, you know, leave the past in the past. So, so hard to do. So, so hard, hard to, to do. do. But, but it's, the only thing worse than that is not doing it. Right? Exactly. I tell Jesus sometimes, well, the only thing worse than following you is not following you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's like this, this other couple, if we have just for, for one more. Um, this, I, I was introduced to a friend of a friend. Yeah. And uh, he, wanted to, he was inviting him to uh, a men's retreat called Emmaus, which, yeah, which yeah. I participated in 2008. And I was telling her about Emmaus, you know, and then I, I mentioned to her how from Emmaus, I catapulted with my wife into Retrovite, how we are the founders of the Miami community and what it does. And, and he looks down and he said, too bad this information is coming too late for me. Mm. And I, I look up and I got very close to him and I said, it's never too late. Mm. And he said, but you don't understand. My wife and I have been divorced for two years. Mm. And I said, you think that because you went to a court of law of men and signed a document, you have released yourself from a promise that you make to God that you were going to be with your wife until the day you die. You don't get off that easy. So listen, most of the couples divorce not because they don't love each other, but because they don't understand each other. So you need tools, you need help, you need grace, and you need community retrovise of all of that. The question is, are you willing to work? Because if you're willing to work, I guarantee you, you will be able to overcome it. And they came three years ago. Not only they are not only they are married now, they are happily married now and seeking that marriage wow. was not sacramental, turning it into a sacramental marriage because what they have lived after going through receiving the tools of retrovise are of course the grace of God. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and and like that, many, many other. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. Helpourmarriage.org. Check out helpourmarriage.org. Everybody's got to go to this website. Uh, what would you say? I just want to give you guys the floor before we wrap. What would you say? Just look straight into the camera. There. We'll just have you talk to that camera. I want each of you just for, just for a minute. What do you say to someone who's in the misery phase right now in marriage? Well, Sorry. from my perspective, what I've, what I've lived, you know, been through and, and I live through, um, there's always so much more happy than sorrow. In a marriage, and I know probably at this point you're thinking, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't take it because I, I was in the same place, and and I thought I didn't have the tools or the energy to continue in a marriage that it was like going nowhere. Um, I felt tormented. I, I, I felt like I was in a dead end. But when I look back in our life, our kids, our family, our mm -hmm. dreams, and everything that we could have, I said we have a shot. And 
you know, I, I just want to plant that in your in your heart and in your soul. You have a shot. Just try it. Um, marriage is difficult, but it's possible. So, Amen. I say, God don't wants us to have a mediocre marriage. He wants perfection, excellence. So, regardless of where you are in your marriage right now, if you want to have a better understanding of your spouse, please go to Retrovi. If you're involved in ministry and you haven't faced a big challenge yet in your marriage, that doesn't necessarily have to be between the two of you. If one of your children have problems with drug in time, misery is coming. It's part of marriage. Please be prepared now. Come to Retrovi. There's serious pain in divorce. Since I, since I was nine years old, I've been living the consequences of the pain of divorce. If you're thinking divorce, please don't think, don't think divorce. Think retrovi. Go to retrovi. You need help. We have help. You need better understanding. We have better understanding. You need grace and you need community. You're not alone. We've all been there. We know what we're telling you. So please go to the website, helpourmarriage.org. Make a phone call. And we're here for you. God bless you. I love what you're doing, man. Thank you for that, seriously. And uh, I tell you, man, I, I want to just echo what you just said. And I'm, I'm often like, you know, always walking the delicate line between like, you know, don't oversell certain things on this show. It's like, dude, sell the heck out of that one. And I'm glad you just did that. Because um, I just, I'm so grateful for what you're doing. I love marriage. I love all that it is. And I, and I love the, the tale of working through the junk in marriage. You know, the thing that I want to... Add to what you just said about uh, about selling. Yeah. There's tons of great um, movements and retreats out there that yeah. serves a great purpose, you know, because we need to learn how to grow in intimacy not only with God, but with God. And most of them point into, into that part, into yeah. that spiritual unity. But we need to be united in our, huma in Amen. our humanity Amen. too. So what I say is like, the reason why I push Retrovi so hard is because at the base of the communication, the tools of, of this program of seven weeks, nothing else offered it. Everything else in addition to is phenomenal. Just no, there's a special make sure you something have that. Here, right. There's a special right. something. I'm, it's I'm in 23 countries and all over God. the United States and every city, so major city. You, too. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are incredible. I, you're just really amazing. Thank you. Uh, thanks not just, thanks for, for, thanks just for the ministry, but for the fact that this comes from what you lived through and what you witnessed yes. with your life. Um, when I got married, I, I was thinking of my wife that should be the, the healing balm for all my wounds. And it turned out that she was the diagnosing finger of God pushing on every break in my body mm -hmm. and my heart to figure out, I was like, hey, is it broken here? Nah, it feels fine. How about here? Ah! <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, when you find yourself in that phase, you want to run away because running away from pain is natural. But you can't go over it. You can't go around it. you got to go through it. And through this, it. Is, this is the path of God for your life. And uh, retrovise you know, a great right way. after that, <laughs> that you said oh, that. Oh, the light's awesome. I wouldn't trade my life with... Bro. Anyone. I'll go through everything seven times more to be where we are at today. That's it, it's man. It's worth it. It's the best. Helpourmarriage.org. What a great thing you guys are doing. I love you, friends. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you next week. Man, wasn't that great? Listen, if you don't want to be happy, be sure not to subscribe. But if you want a more joyful life, the kind of life that God created you for, the kind of life Jesus promised when he said, I came to give you life to the full, then make sure you hit subscribe and share this channel with everybody you know.